Game Boy, only from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power, portable power. Hi everyone, I'm Tyler and welcome to another episode of Player One Start. Today we're going to talk about a cost-effective way and a space-saving way to store your old Game Boy games. So I've actually been working on this project for a little over a year. I actually put out a survey question on several forums and social media sites trying to find out what is the best way I can store my Game Boy games. I have a bunch of them and right now, as you can see from some of the pictures, they're just taking up space on the shelf. I have nowhere to put them where I can keep them on display or keep them readily accessible and still be able to access my other games. Right now they're just sitting stacked up in front of other games. I can also add on to that that my Game Gear games also have the same problem. I need to find a way to store all these in a way that doesn't take up a lot of shelf space. Now most of the time you see me as I'm sitting right now in front of my game shelf back here. But if you look around the entire room, you can actually see that I have shelves on the other wall too. Now I don't usually show that because that's where my stage lights are. As you can see from the shelves, I have very little space left over. In fact, I'm still in the process of trying to figure out how I can utilize the space below my shelves. But until that time, I need a way to be able to store my games. And some of the responses showed that I should have, um, I call it the spice rack. I like this method, in fact I'd really like to do it. However. I'm almost out of wall space already, so I kind of need to salvage as much space as I can for future purchases. Another method that somebody showed me was, again, not a wall saving method. They actually suggested that I kind of have like a, all the games and slide them down the wall in like a kind of a slider thing. And although I like that idea as well, again, I have a lot of games and I'd have to take up a lot of wall space with that, so I really couldn't do it this way. But then somebody sent me an idea that I thought, this could possibly work. The picture was of a baseball card sheet that was made specifically to fit Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games, and you know Game Boy Color games and all that stuff. And I really like this idea, except for those sheets were very expensive. They have flaps on the top to keep games from flying out. And since I'm very careful with these games, I'm not too concerned about them flying out the top. So I'm gonna make my own Game Boy games binder. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the steps that I did to make my Game Boy games binders. All right, so the first thing I have to do is I have to go ahead and arrange and gather up all of my Game Boy Advance games. And then I prepared a little workspace here, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay these out. And here are the baseball card sheets that I got. And I'm gonna go ahead and arrange these in alphabetical order. All right, and here comes the first game. It looks like this is gonna work out really well. Let's go ahead and put it in the binder to see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that works out very nice. So the Game Boy Advance games actually fit a little loose in here because they're a little bit smaller than the baseball card slots, but it's not too bad. Alright, let's go ahead and finish up the rest. Alright, and that's the last of them. And here's what the finished product looks like for the Game Boy Advance games. This makes it a lot easier to find which game I want to play, especially since these are so small. Keeping them organized like this in alphabetical order will definitely help me out. Alright, I needed a bigger workspace for my Game Boy games because I have a lot more of them. The first problem I ran into is these plastic cases. So I decided to remove them. I'm going to keep these in a separate storage area. I'm not going to throw them out. Alright, and I'm going to go through the same process and put all these in alphabetical order. This took me a little while, so I'm speeding it up just so you can see how it looks.
All right, I got them in the order that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting them in the sheet. I actually didn't test this beforehand, so this is gonna be the moment of truth here. Oh yeah, that fits in perfectly. The sides actually get a good grip on the cartridge, so it's not gonna slide out very easily. This is kind of interesting. I didn't realize I had two copies of Star Wars until now. The reason why I didn't realize I had two copies is because the uh, cover art is different on each one. As far as I know, they're the same game. Alright, and that's what the final sheet looks like. Let's go ahead and do the Game Boy Color games. Alright, and they all fit in except for one game, and that is Star Wars Racer, because it has this little vibration pack on the back of it. So I'm just going to set that off to the side for now. Alright, let's go ahead and get these put inside the binders. And you can tell I'm using a binder I already had because I masking taped the inside of it because the pocket was coming out. You might be able to tell that I left some space on some of these. And that's in case I buy any more games, and I don't want to have to rearrange them every time I buy a new game to keep them in alphabetical order. Alright, and finishing up the second binder, this is the final result for the Game Boy games. And let's put the Game Boy Advance game binder in there. And yeah, this is a nice space-saving method that is cost-effective for storing my Game Boy games. All right, so here's a couple things to know about the method behind my madness with this project. First, I was looking for the cheapest possible option. In my opinion, I think my money is better spent on the games rather than the means to store them. The more money I spend on storage, the less money I'm gonna have for buying games. So I really wanted this to be a very cost-effective method. I decided to use some binders I already had laying around the house. The second thing is, I decided to go ahead and use regular baseball card sheets because I know that regular Game Boy games and Game Boy Advance games will fit in them, with the exception of one. All right, overall, I think this project worked out very nicely. I'm very happy with the results. I've come up with a space-saving way to easily access and store all of my Game Boy games. And actually, since they're now organized like this, I'm actually more likely to play Game Boy games a little bit more often because now I can easily access them. I don't have to dig through the entire pile. However, there is one thing that is still lacking. My games binders don't have any labels on them, and I've decided to leave it up to you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and post the dimensions for my binders uh, down below in the description. If you guys wanna design what you think I should make the outside of the binders look like, go ahead and submit me a design for what you think my binders should look like. I'm gonna tell you this, I have two binders for my Game Boy games and one for my Game Boy Advance games. And I'll let this go for a few weeks until I get something that I feel like is something I'd like to put in there. So I look forward to seeing your submissions. If I happen to choose your design, you will get a special shout out on this show in your own dedicated video when I showcase the binders. If I pick more than one person's design, each person will get a separate mention. And also, if you have a channel on YouTube that you'd like me to give a shout out to, I will put that in the description as well. All right, well that about wraps it up for this project. Remember, if you like what you see, please hit that like and subscribe button, share with a friend, Remember, you can reach out to me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Again, I want to thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned because I have more content coming. I'll see you guys next time. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video as I really enjoyed making it for you. If you did like this video, please let me know by leaving a like and a comment below. Let me know what you liked about the video. Let me know what you guys would like to see in the future. And if you'd like to see some of the other videos I've already done, there should be some popping up here, 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 everywhere. I wonder what YouTube would look like with save states. I wonder what YouTube would look like with save states. I wonder what YouTube would look like with save states. I wonder what YouTube would look like with save states.